Good day, ma'am. I am Liza Jane S. Magsalai, BS Cream 3. I will be performing Activity 3, Paraffin Wax Casting of Forensic Chemistry and Toxicology. Prepare necessary materials. Wear protective equipment. There are two phases in this activity. Phase 1 melting of wax phase 2 application of wax the first thing that I'm going to do is phase 1 melting the wax I am now putting the wax inside the casserole safety measures I am conducting this activity outside our home for safety purposes I am now stirring the wax using a spoon. When the wax has been fully melted, Allow it to stay on the fire for a few minutes and let it cool. While waiting for the wax to cool down, prepare for the next phase which is phase 2, application of wax. Wash your hands without the use of soap and dry it afterwards. I am back. I am going to start phase 2, which is application of wax. I am going to use compacting powder and eyeshadow. I will cover my hands with all of these. Let us see afterwards if there will be an impression of color on the wax. After applying a generous amount of compacting powder and eyeshadow, we will now start the application. Let us begin. Let us use cotton and tongue to dab the wax on the hand.
keep your hand steady as much as possible. As long as you can tolerate the heat, then it is good.
Reinforce your first layer of wax to thicken it and solidify it. I am now done. The wax has been cooled and I am now removing my hands from the cast. In an actual paraffin wax casting, a slip needs to be attached to the cast. The slip contains the subject name, the test, the purpose, the date, and who had taken the cast. Secure the cast with another bond paper ready for transport. The compacting powder that was applied on my hand left an impression in the paraffin wax casting. That ends my activity 3 for paraffin wax casting. Thank you and good day!